old people trying to figure out new technology. Nope. Hello guys and welcome to my very first MD test ride. Today I am riding the Harley Davidson 1200 Sportster. This is a 2013 model. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's fire up this bad boy, run, and Woo! this thing is loud, clutch brake, there we go, oh, 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 this clutch is instant. Oh, this is so weird. Sitting with your feet <laughs> in front of you. This is the oddest feeling. Yeah, oh, this clutch. This clutch is so instant. <laughs> the clutch on my MT07 is nothing like this. This is not bad. It's, uh, I mean, the riding experience is completely different than like a diff like a naked bike or or super sport. And also going into the corners, you you're like leaning over because, but it's the it's weird because you sitting so far back but just listen to that yo this the noise a Harley makes that is just next level like it's it's so comfortable it sits really well it's like sitting in a lazy boy chair just kicking back Indicators. These indicators are weird. There's one on each side. On each handlebar, there's an indicator. So you got to indicate on the one side and then on the other side, which is nice. With this, I don't know if this is aftermarket. There's a lot of aftermarket bits and bobs on this specific one, which uh, I don't think they come out with. Like this is a different uh, upgraded dash and. Uh, the indicators that when you push an indicator as it's now on and you go around a corner it's got a gyro inside of it and when you lean the bike up it goes off by itself how nifty is that but look at it rattle look at this 1200 monster rattle okay let's see if I can get this clutch right but it is it's like it's like a riding a big ass couch that's what it's like and it's it's a little bit heavy um, but it's not that bad like being new on a Harley you know the, the feet in front that's weird that's a weird thing there we go clutching and and flicker goes off by itself ah! amazing so this model has the, or not this model, but this specific one has got 
the screaming eagle exhaust pipes on it that's why this thing's so damn loud oh harley's in general are all loud but this one's like extra loud just listen to that It's it's got a lot of torque and uh, but surprisingly if you gun it I thought it would be even more more than that if you know what I mean but it, I feel so scared trying like leaning this thing into a corner it's, look at that shadow like a chopper and a half Okay, let's see. Let's go. We're going around these bends. Uh, it's a big machine to operate. I wouldn't see myself. This is obviously a, a cruising machine. So you take this out on the highway. I wouldn't see myself taking this out on a... Or driving it. You wouldn't drive this every day. Okay, we got to merge onto here. I said not that, that not that powerful. You'd expect it to have a lot more than that. But you pop it up in fifth and you sit back. And look at this, you put your feet up here, yeah, this is weird. You know. Scoot scoot forward, pop your feet up like this, you know. Now you're really in a lazy boy. But that's odd because it feels like you want to push with your feet and it Makes it makes it feel like it's gonna turn. Excuse the shoes, guys. Don't uh, don't judge me. But just chill. You know, there you go. Just chill back. It's too weird. It's so odd. But definitely, I guess if this is your thing, this is this is a different experience than driving a super sport or a naked. But damn, it rattles the shit out of you with this big ass motor and you get like you get the 1700 it really does holding on to these animals you can see how these mirrors are shaking this is 24 7 i can feel i don't know if you can hear it but it's vibrating into my head it feels good though it's it is smooth But the noise it makes, that makes it all worth it. And then, auto flicker. There's not a lot to say about a Harley, I mean, the things are endlessly customizable, which is great, you know, you build them exactly to your spec, to your preference. But it is definitely, it's obviously it's not flickable you can't whip it side to side it's really slow really smooth really chill you literally got to have all the patience in the world if you're riding one of these because you're going to be chilling just chilling and it's not a fast bike i think this thing uh, anything above like 130 it starts to struggle but that's fine, you drive 40 kilometers an hour and just rev the shit out of it. I want to take this thing underneath the tunnel. If you take it underneath the tunnel, that'll be epic. Just listen to it. 
I think that's the number one thing. That's my verdict. I'm going to stick to that. If you want to buy a Harley, buy it purely for the exhaust. Purely for the motor and exhaust sound. And it's a big bike to stop. I mean, I'm pressing down on that brake and you got to you got to give yourself ample time to break this thing also. I think, it, I don't, I'm not sure how much this weighs, but it weighs quite a bit. And it gets hot. It gets really hot between your legs. The seat is so damn comfortable. You can sleep in this thing. You could sleep in it, but this exhaust and the rattling, this thing rattles the living daylights out of you. That's going to wake you up. I mean, I enjoy this, but I wouldn't see myself riding this every day. Or, I wouldn't actually see myself having this as a bike. I would uh, much rather be on a naked or a super sport. Like, I'm gonna be, I'm chilling back here. But this is great, if you are over the age of 60, Go ahead and get yourself a Harley Davidson if you want to kick back and chill. That is my verdict. It's difficult because I am younger. I, I, I can't just try and lean this thing over. It's so weird. But I hope you guys enjoy this test ride, this MD test ride. And uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you guys next time.